edge, you can do something called creating notes. Web notes, I should say. And you can do this on any website. Um, so I'm just gonna show you the example of just the Google homepage. I know, kind of boring, but I like to get these videos out quickly. And you can apply this to any uh, website that you would view, your personal website, absolutely anything. So if you're on a website and you wanna make some notes, you can click the notes button, which is found right here, web notes, make a web note. So you click the button and then you're in web note mode. Now, you have the tools up in the top left here. You have a pen, a highlighter, an eraser, um, as well as a typed note and a snippet tool. So let's just say I use the highlighter and I wanted to highlight Google and I want to use the Now, once you have um, this set up, okay, once you have your, your note taking on your website you set up, you might want to save it because I might want to load it up later on. So if you hit this little disk button, this saves it. And essentially what it does is it's going to put it um, into a particular folder that you might have made. So I created a new folder called Google. I already have some existing notes in there. And this one's going to be called Web Notes Google. I'll call it Basic Directions. So if I hit add, that now gets saved. So let's say I'm done my web note, I exit. I wanna load this up later on, right? Maybe I even close edge. So to access that web note later on, what you do is you'd actually click your hub, which is your favorites, reading list, history, and downloads. So if I click that and you go to the favorite section of hub, notice there's that folder I made called Google, and here's the different notes that I've made. One called Web Notes Google Basic Directions. If I click it, lo and behold, loads it back up. So I could actually hide these notes, I can view them, I could go to the original page, which takes me back to my original. You could use this for anything. You could mark up your original website without actually converting it to a PDF and using Reader. You can do it directly on the web now. So it's a wonderful tool for a varying number of people, developers, simply making notes on a website, maybe you're talking to a developer of your website. Lots of different reasons. So try out making web notes and I don't think you'll turn back.